Gary Johnson here, and welcome to Fresh Manna. The word of the Lord for today comes from 1 Peter chapter 3, verse number 12. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. Now, far too many people believe that because our God is loving, and he is it, and he's gracious. They believe that no matter how they live, that he's still going to reward and bless them anyways. The concept of God not even listening to our prayers and actually being against us, as spoken about in this verse, is completely foreign to many. Yet all you have to do is consider verses like, Psalm 66, verse 18, which says, If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. How about Job 35? Beginning at verse number 12, it says, There they cry, but none give answer because of the pride of evil men. Surely God will not hear vanity, neither will the Almighty regard it. God doesn't listen to vanity. So if your prayer has vanity. What is vanity? It's empty. It's fake. It's phony. You're using borrowed phrases that are not real to you. And if you use a borrowed phrase that you got from somebody else, but it's not real to you, it won't work for you. Religious phrases, rituals, repetition are not going to produce anything. If it doesn't mean anything to you, it's not going to mean anything to him. Now, we've taught that when it comes to giving in our Living to Give class, that if your offering doesn't mean anything to you, it's not going to mean anything to the Lord because he's touched with the feeling of our infirmities. Well, this applies to prayer also. If your prayer means nothing to you and you're just echoing what you heard somebody else say, if it doesn't mean anything to you, it's not going to mean anything to him. How about Proverbs 28, verse number 9, that says that he that turns away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. That's pretty strong. So if you won't listen to the word of God, especially when you know better, then he won't listen to you. Or how about even James 4, verse 6, and 1 Peter 5, 5, that teaches us that God will resist the proud but he gives grace to the humble. Now, all is not lost because if you will repent when you need to and you humble yourself before him, then his ears will be open to your prayers. I like what pastor says. If you are not making a connection, then you need to make a change in Jesus' name.